Okay, guys, sometimes when you stitch in your image, it's gonna come out with alignment faults. We all get them, but I'm gonna show you how you don't have to accept a bad stitch when using Photo Merge, some of the workarounds you can use to make your initial stitch much better, to save you a headache later on trying to make repairs that didn't even have to be there in the first place. Okay, so here we are on Adobe Bridge. First, we're gonna be looking at these sets of images here, and they're a nighttime full moon shoot. So I'm just gonna quickly open them up into Camera Raw. As you can see, they're all really nice and level. So they should stitch together correctly. I'm gonna just select them all, Command A. I've just done all my basic adjustments to them. Enable chromic aberration, profile corrections, and I've set my white balance so I don't get a funny white balance shift through the images because I shoot on an auto white balance. Open up the files. Okay, so the files are all opened into Photoshop. We're just gonna come in, File, Automate, Photo Merge. I'm gonna pick Auto as our first option. Just click op Add Open Files, click OK. So you can see this middle image doesn't look really good at all. And the problem is, is that like that image is actually really straight. And as we come in and zoom in, we've got a funny dip into the center here with a break, and then it curves its way out into another break, which then curves out again. So it's really not good at all. And that's on auto. So I'm just gonna close this, not save it. We're gonna come in, automate, photo merge again, and we're gonna select cylindrical, add open files and click OK. Come in and have a look. Again, we've still got that funny dip down, not as bad as the first on auto. Little break there, then it arches back out. Little break over there by the looks of things. So it's a better job, but still it's, it's again, it's very problematic. You've got, a, you've got a bow, then a break, then a bow out. So again, not good using cylindrical. So now we're gonna come in and use our last option here. We're gonna use spherical. You don't use perspective, it never really works well at all for landscape shots, so click OK. So again, you can sort of see we got that weird sort of incorrect alignment, especially when the horizon is actually straight. So we come in and look at it again. Our break there, our break there, and we got another break over here, so we got another error into the shot. So I think that really the main fault with this image is this main big headland in the center. To try and get that aligned with all the other images, is really causing a lot of issues with the horizon line. So my takeaway with the shooting an image like this would be, would be to sort of step back more and add more separation between the headland and the horizon line, or move forward more and put more water actually in there. So don't just go down and shoot a panoramic stitch by just going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Change focal length, move your tripod a bit, just so if this is the only photo that you have, you're just gonna end up having this permanent error if you're stitching using Photo Merge. So the option for me here is because I have a third party application called PDGUI, we're gonna run the image through that. And what I find quite often is if Photo Merge doesn't do the job, more often than not, PDGUI will do it. Then if I use PDGUI and that sort of errors out and doesn't work at all, then I put it into Photo Merge and Photo Merge will actually do the job as well. So I find with those two programs, obviously Photo Merge comes with Photoshop, you will always have an option that will get you out of trouble, probably 99% of the time. So I'm gonna come in now, File, Automate, Batch, and I'm gonna save these raw files into our working file directory. Click OK, because then I can open those TIFF files into Pedigui, and then we can stitch them together. Okay, here's Pedigui, Load Images, Come in, select the files, click open. Align the files. And there you go. Instantly you can see that it's done a way better job than what Photo Merge has done. We're just gonna come in, we'll export them out and have a closer look. Photoshop document, 16-bit files. Blend individual layers, create panorama. Okay, quit out of PDGUI, don't need it anymore. I'm gonna come into here, double click and open up our file into Photoshop. 
and just come through and have a close look. So it's done a way better job through here. It's got a bit of a funny sort of image part there, but we've got no other breaks. And the good thing is, it's just like with using Photo Merge in Photoshop, we've got all our layers here. So if we come in and we actually find where that fault is, so it's actually on that file there, we can just basically just click on that and be for our brush tool with a white mask, the white brush, we can just come in and just paint that out and there's our easily quick repair. Everything else looks really good. And again, Petey Gooey has saved us with basically having an image that was almost pretty more unworkable and it's got us out of trouble. All right, so we're gonna come in and look at our next, next example. So with these files down here, this is a nice day shot, so we're gonna select these. Double click, open them up into Camera Raw. And hit Command A to select them all, Option S to synchronize. Set my white balance so that it's even throughout all the shots. Do our optics. And now we just, we could just, I can do some other slight edits, just wanna just save time. I close down, I highlight detail and open up some shadows. Click open. Okay, so as we come through the images, you can see, look, that's nice and level. This one actually dips down. And because what I've done is I actually shot this as a handheld digital panoramic. So I've had my camera up nice and close because you are now become the tripod. And you click, move, click, move, 50% overlap. And what you're looking for is you're trying to make sure the horizon stays straight in each image. Obviously, you're going to have a error to some degree. It's not going to be perfectly straight because you're not a tripod. And you just come through and you can sort of see where these ones are relatively straight. Some dip up and dip down. So we're going to come in, file, automate, photo merge. And what you'll find with this is that like it might actually stitch really well with only a small horizontal break. But what you might find is you might actually have a really deep horizontal break because it just hasn't liked how the images are kind of not exactly level. So we're just going to select auto, add open files and click OK. And see what sort of job it does. So when you come through and have a look, it looks really good. There's just a little minor break there, but that's fine. That's, that's quite an easy sort of fix. But I'll just try and show you what I'm going to what I'm talking about. Is if I just merge all these visible layers, I'll just bring that one to the bottom. Now, if you have it like a layer that's in the middle, I'll just pick one that's in the middle. I'll just fill it with black. What you can have, I'll just invert it, have my move tool and lift it up. You can actually have this sort of fault over here, which is quite a big break. And that could be because our file is on a steep angle like this. So if you ever have issues where you've got a really decent break in your image and you might have several of them, what you can do is you can just come in, find which file has the error on it, double click, open that back up in a uh, camera raw, grab your crop tool, and just make sure you, you align it so it's actually straight. So once you've done that, you just click open, and it'll open that back up into Photoshop, close the other file that you had, and then rerun it through Photo Merge. And you'll find most of the time it'll fix the error, or we'll just give you a very, very minor fault that you can easily work with. And you won't have to have a really bad horizontal break like this one here. Like I've done this one before and when I re-edit it, it doesn't really make any sort of difference. I won't run it through again, but I have been in a situation where I've actually had that issue and I've come in and I've realigned all the panoramics images that made it up and it's, it's really fixed that problem. And what you might find as well is when you got your panoramic head, you might actually find that it's actually not as level as what you thought it was, and all your images are on an angle. Or this happens quite often when you're flying with a drone and you're doing panoramic stitches and you find that the gimbal on your drone there actually isn't exactly level and all your photos come out on an angle. So you just go in and you actually manually straight them all in Camera Raw or Lightroom before you export them out as a photo merge panoramic. All right, so I'm just gonna close all these ones. So the last example we're going to look at is these shots here. 
So this is a, again, a really wide angle panoramic where it's 11 shots, but it doesn't have to actually be 11 shots. You can easily get away with using only seven. So the thing with this is, is that you can shoot, move and do like maybe this one actually has probably almost like 70% overlap where it only really needed to be 50. So you could stitch this image and it comes out faultless. Okay, so with all these shots, let's see what it looks like. We're gonna come in, File, Automate, Photo Merge. Select Cylindrical, add all our files, all 11 of them, click OK, and see how the stitching comes through with this. Okay, so here's our stitch. So it looks really good, it's done a great job. There's only like, I don't even think there's any sort of horizontal issue there at all, so that's really good. But as you can see over here, Photoshop Merge is actually used pretty much every part of those 11 files in some way. So we've got maybe a bit of a water issue here, maybe one in the foreground there. And the thing is, it's because it's used 11 images to do that when it only probably really needed to be seven. So if you ever come across this sort of problem, you don't actually have to use all 11 images. You go through and you might find where you're starting to introduce a fault into your stitch, isolate the error, and then basically just remove that image from the stitch. So if we just close this, what we'll do is we'll come in, we'll look at the far ones. We don't have much information on the far left here for it to blend, so we'll keep that one. We'll keep this one because that'll help that far right one merge in. And then we'll just come around and we'll have a look. Probably don't need that file, so we can get rid of that one. And then you're just looking at how your image is stitching and you want it to again now be your 50% overlap. So we can get rid of this one here. We can get rid of this one here. And we've got this file and then we can have a look at the next one. So that's not gonna be really too much of an issue because it's just land. So we've gone down to make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight files. So let's see if we can make it seven. So I think, all right, we'll just, we'll just keep it at eight. Now we'll just come in, file, automate, photo merge. We'll pick cylindrical again, add open files, click OK. Okay, so here's our image. So we've got the water here along there. Looks like it's done a far better job. Looks like it's merged all the way through, so that's really good. Our horizon line still looks great. We don't seem to have foreground errors anymore. And just by dropping out those extra files, you've actually made your stitch even better because you haven't actually told Photoshop, hey, all these 11 images are part of the stitch, when actually that's not really true. It's only really these eight. We could even probably refine it down to seven. And you might find this is really handy when you're actually shooting and you've got like an open seascape here where you can actually get horizontal breaks. And one file pretty much covers most of that water. And then the second one picks up just maybe the water leading into the headland. So you could really basically drop out any extra frames that you have affecting the left-hand side of, a frame of your image. And then your stitch is actually almost perfect because that one file is actually covered maybe 90% of your horizon line of your water. And then the other lot is just all just married up and it makes it far, far simpler to do your panoramic stitches by dropping out frames, especially if you wanna try and work out some of the issues that you may get with alignment, especially with your horizon line, which is flat, whether it's just anywhere, whether it's maybe like back sort of ridge lands where you're actually getting some harsh breaks or certainly with a coastal scene here. Okay, as you can see, these are pretty common errors that I'm sure you've come across when using Photo Merge. Sometimes the workaround is nice and easy. Some take a bit of thinking and some you really need to have a totally different approach to get what you want, especially if you've gone to all the time and effort to head out and take the shots and you haven't really done anything wrong. It's just your software that's actually letting you down. If you want to see a full detailed masterclass with editing a bracketed stitch on Sunrise with alignment issues with the masts moving in some yachts in between the layers, then you can check that out here. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.